Subscribe now to join Team Fresh. What's going on, Team Fresh? Welcome back to New GTA 5 Mods episode 2. Today, I gather to you all just so we can test out some of the worst mods ever made for GTA 5. That's right, guys. These cars that you guys see over here, they have the worst ratings on GTA 5 mods. And let me just show you guys. All right, so this is what we're working with. We got the 10 by 10, which looks like this. And it's got a 2.0 rating out of 5. Next we have is the Sentinel, which has a 1.5 star rating. Next up, we have the Tigon Retro, and it has a 1 star rating out of 5 stars. And last but not least, we have the Volkswagen Space Fox, and it has 2.5 stars. <laughs> Let's go back to the game. So yeah, we installed those vehicles in the game, and now we're gonna put them through this test right over here. We're gonna be racing them on this test track, and we're gonna see which one handles the best, which one's the fastest, and uh, yeah, well, we're gonna give them a rating, okay? Our own rating, guys. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below which one do you guys think is the fastest vehicle here. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, I'm thinking, honestly, I gotta say that I think the fastest one is this one. And, honestly, I kind of like the car. I'm not sure why it's rated so bad on the website. But, uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be the fastest. That's gonna be my guess. Let me know what your guesses are in the comment section down below. And, uh, we're gonna start testing these out. I'm thinking... Uh, bro, bro, I'm busy over here. I don't know who that was anyway. But yeah, we're gonna start off with this Volkswagen over here, guys. I did not modify any of them. This is how it came. It slammed to the ground. And oh my gosh. Start this up. We're gonna take this around the track. We're gonna set a baseline time for all the rest of them to beat. Oh my gosh. This one is like a boat. It's rocking back and forth. But I think we're ready to do this. And, okay, go, go, go. We're gonna go through all of the checkpoints. We're gonna collect the time and see how this vehicle does. So far, it's not bad. I mean, it's not the fastest one here, I don't think. Oh my gosh, dude, I have a feeling that I'm gonna end up rolling this car. Oh my gosh, but so far, we're doing just fine. A few moments later. Oh, no! Yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. I'm gonna roll this thing over on its side before the end of this course. All right, we're gonna take this on the straightaway. Let's see what the top speed's going to be. Can we hit 100 miles an hour? I don't think so, guys. Nope, barely 83 miles an hour. Oh, my gosh. Come on, go, go, go. <laughs> the wheels are poking through the trunk over there. You guys can see them. Oh my gosh, this car is a joke. Oh boy, it's a it's a cool looking car, okay? I don't want to bash it too, too much. But here we go, guys. I think we are approaching the final checkpoint. Let's set this record time for the other cars to beat. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, that's another thing. Woo! Here we go. One minute, 42 seconds for this vehicle. I don't know if this is the fastest, but... We're gonna position it right over here. 142, man. What do you guys think about this car? Hmm, not too bad. I mean, it, it wobbles, okay, and it's super slow. I think what we're gonna do next is we're going to be using, yeah, some of these cars, that's probably why the rating is so bad. They, like, disappear. Like, you step far back and it disappears. I think same with that car. Yeah, it disappears, but as soon as you get closer, boom, it's right there. I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, I'm gonna use the Sentinel now. I think this is gonna be the second slowest dude that just goes through the door. Oh, man. Look at this exhaust system, though. The tires look kind of ugly, super white. Tires don't look like that in real life. And, uh, yeah, the car just kind of looks confused. It's missing a front bumper and the hood. But besides that, race car. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Let me know, do you guys think this car is going to be faster than the other one? I'm not sure, but we're about to find out, and off we go. I don't know, man. Acceleration-wise, it feels just as slow, but I think it handles a little bit better than the previous vehicle we just drove, and look at this. Oh, yeah! We're shaving off time. We are. 
So this car is going to be a little bit faster than uh, the previous one, provided that I don't crash. And uh, yeah, this one is not going to flip upside down. The handling, I got to say, is actually pretty good. So let's rate these cars, guys. The first car, my rating would be a two star. I don't, I don't remember what the website said, but I would give it a two star just because like, it's a little glitchy, okay? It's wobbly. The wheels are poking through uh, the trunk. So yeah, that's gonna be my rating, two stars. This car, I'm gonna give it a solid three stars, okay? I'm taking points off because the, um, you can kind of go through the doors, okay? The doors don't even open at all. Uh, but at least the car drives pretty nice and uh, even though it's missing a front bumper and a hood, it's still okay. It's still fine, it looks cool, it's hip, okay? And uh, yeah. All right, we're about to go through the final checkpoint. Let's see what the top speed of this one's gonna be. The other one was like 83 miles an hour. I think this one will be able to hit a little more than that. Here we go, we are approaching 90 miles an hour, 91, 92, woo! One minute, 35 seconds. Okay guys, this is going to be the winner so far, so we're gonna position it right here. Woo, I'm excited though. Let's go for the next car. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave the Tigon or the Tigon, however you pronounce it, Tigon, the retro for last. I think it's gonna be fast. I have not driven any of these cars before the episode started. So uh, yeah, let's get in this one right over here and see what this is all about. <laughs> Dude! Massive burnouts! Oh my gosh, man! <laughs> this car, I gotta say, looks the silliest. It's a 10 by 10, but apparently the wheels don't spin. None of the wheels, except for the front one, spins. <laughs> All right. Do you guys think this is gonna be the fastest so far? I'm not sure, but let's go and test it out, dude. Get some traction. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. All right. This car is actually very fast. Whoa! No, 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 it's getting sideways. Okay, um, dude, is this like a drift car? Maybe this is a drift car. I don't know, no, dude. It literally goes sideways. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna set a world record with this one. just constantly getting sideways and uh, uh that's all it keeps doing is drifting come on let's finish this go 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 140 miles an hour it's kind of quick but because it handles like crap we came in last one minute 57 seconds guys we're gonna position it right over here Woo. and now for our last vehicle, I'm excited to uh, test it out right now. It's the Tigon, Tigon, t t whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> We're gonna test it out. It's this retro vehicle right over here. Honestly, I gotta say it looks good. Looks wise, I'm gonna get, uh, you know what? Dude, I don't know. Let's start this thing up. Woo, I like it. I like it. I'm so inclined to give this a five-star rating. I really am. I don't know why it got a one-star rating on the website. It's got a spare tire in the back. We have an engine out back to, to, whoo, and it sounds good and it looks really cool. But here we go, guys. We are ready to test this out. Let's see if this one can beat all the other times. It's definitely like a race car compared to the rest of them. And look at this. Handling is superb. Acceleration is great. We're about to test out the top speed and I'm already ahead by 2.4 seconds. Is that what, it, what that tells me right there, guys? Dude, this is amazing. We are up ahead by three seconds already from the fastest time. Dude, I have a good feeling about this vehicle, guys. This is it right there. This is it right here, guys. Woo! Let's go. We got a straightaway coming up. Let's see if this one can break 100 miles an hour on this one right over here. 
go, go, go. 70, 80, 90, 100. Still going, 106. I had to break, guys. There's another straightaway. We're about to test it out, too. Go, go, go. Guys, I have to rate this car five stars. I have to. I have to. This is one of my favorite cars. Well, out of the bunch, at least. Oh, but yeah, I don't know why it was rated so poorly on the website. Here we go. We shaved off six and a half seconds compared to the rest of the cars. Here we go. Final stretch, guys. We are approaching 100 miles an hour. Here we go. We're still climbing 109, 110. Woo! And this is the winner. One minute, 26 seconds, guys. Woo! We're going to position it right over here. Dude, I have to say... This is definitely my favorite car here. Okay, yeah, the, the the steering wheel positioning is off. The gauges don't really work. Okay, the interior is sloppy, but maybe we'll give it four stars because of that. Solid four stars. Dude, look at those headlights, too. This car is looking really cool. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right here. Let me know which car was your favorite in the comment section down below. Do you guys want me to do more videos like this where I test out some of the craziest or some of the crappiest mods in GTA 5 history? Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to end it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.